it's beer festival time. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is indeed beer festival time and more specifically Nottingham beer festival time. It is probably my favourite week of the year, give or take. It's always fantastic. Now, uh, for those of you who are hurriedly looking it up because you've never really heard about it, well, it is a camera event, so uh, it is more cask and trad, but don't let that put you off. It is by far the best camera event I've ever been to, and well, I've been a lot, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to review a couple of local beers to meet here in Nottingham for well, Nottingham Beer Festival week. So uh, the first one is this video, and we've got something in from the guys over at Navigation. And this one is called Every Sweet Has Its Sour. And as you can probably guess from that, it is a strawberry sour. Uh, rocking in at 3.6%, a yeah, strawberry sour. Um, loads of lovely condensation on the, uh, on the can there, if that'll focus in. Let's try that again, shall we? Some lovely condensation on this uh, on this can, if it will now uh, focus, which it has. Um, and while we're here, yeah, take a look at the can. Standard navigation brewery style with the, um, uh, is it called a sextant? Um, sextant, uh, the, uh, the old shipping navigational thing there. Um, we'll go into a bit more detail about navigation brewery shortly, but yeah, let's get this one opened up. Using my uh, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival glass for this one, may as well keep it somewhat relevant. I do have a load of previous years Nottingham Beer Festival glasses, uh, but I simply forgot to wash them in time for this review, so sorry. Um, Very fruity, very yeasty aroma, even at a distance, has to be said. And in the glass, it's super hazy, very, a kind of a red tinged orange, it's semi hazy. The size of the glass, it's becoming a bit more opaque, but yeah, it's got a very fruit pulpy kind of a thing going on. Um, I do need to work out a way to get a better view of what I can see of this beer on camera because to me it's say it's more orange and a bit more I don't know just a bit less dark and gloomy than it appears on the camera but well that's not a bad angle there you go that's a little bit more like it right then aromas mm, much more fruit and strawberry forward as you would expect um, the kind of the heavy yeast aroma when I opened it has disappeared. Um, the bug on the side of the glass could probably go away. Um, look, it is strawberry heavy. It has got a bit of that kind of sour astringency on the nose and a bit of malt does come through, which is leading this more down especially given that the strawberry element is quite fresh, it's leading it more down a um, kind of strawberries, cream, shortbready thing, rather than say synthetic confectionery strawberry bonbon. It's much more in the, in the fresh food department. And yeah, um, it does smell sweet though. There was something just, I don't know, rubbing me up the wrong way slightly about the aroma on this and it is that this could be well if it's as sweet as it smells then it could be a bit too much for me but let's find out shall we cheers sour well yeah it's a, it's a sour it's definitely a sour Wow, I'll tell you what, it reminds me of instantly without really analysing any of the flavours. Have you ever had kind of yoghurt with fruit in it? Maybe the fruit's not quite ripe enough, maybe the yoghurt's not very sweet. It's kind of like that. As your taste buds acclimatise though. It's 
some more flavors are starting to develop. It's um, it is an interesting one for sure. I'm gonna swill what's left in the can around a little bit, try and give to see if there's any physical matter in there. Oh, there certainly is. Certainly, certainly is. There is. So if you can see that now, underneath. But there is quite a lot of sediment. Fruity, yeasty goodness floating around in there. Now, top to bottom taste test, let's see what this is really all about. So, hmm. before you even get the flavour, the aroma difference between what I was doing before, which was simply placing your nose over, and then the aroma as you breathe in a bit before you drink, As you lift the glass up, it gives off a really different note. It's really earthy, really not dank. It's not a hop note that I'm aware of. It's um, it's quite pippy, seeds, pith. It's still fruity, but just those bits that don't taste well, like the good bits, if that makes sense. It's um. Yeah, it's got a distinct, very distinct, earthy note, and no surprise, first hit the front of the tongue. There's a bit of carbonation, but really it's just a reminder that it is a bit sour. It's, um, it's tart but refreshing, and I'm struggling to pick out a whole lot more. It's uh, it's definitively strawberry. It feels like certainly on the aroma it has a lot of complexity, but the actual flavour of the beer and full disclosure, as I've said a few times, my taste buds have only just recovered from a little jostle with the aroma, so I might not be at full form, but. Very subtle fruit flavours, almost entirely strawberry. There's a bit of citrus twang in there, and whilst it is very refreshing and not overly sour, to be honest, once you get into it, that aroma, that very earthy, vegetal, seedy, pippy, pithy aroma that I mentioned, I'll be honest, isn't very pleasant. Now, the aftertaste actually is like quite a nice, good tart lemonade, handmade lemonade, but I don't know. I'm not getting any of the malt promise that was on the nose through the taste. And I say that, that earthy bit is just a little bit off-putting, which is disappointing. If you like what I'm gonna call very rustic sours, farmhouse styles, this will appeal to quite a lot of people, I think, but whilst it's certainly not a bad beer, it's probably not one for me, which is a shame because I really like navigation, as I'll talk to you about in a minute, but that one for me just falls maybe a little bit shy, but I'm a bit fussy when it comes to sour beer, so no surprise there. All right then, let's take a look at the can. On the front then, navigation, every sweet has its sour, strawberry sour at 3.6%. It says pot filtered and unpasteurized. Um, I'm surprised it's filtered because there's some big chunks in there. Uh, ingredients are barley, wheat, hops, yeast, water, strawberries and strawberry puree. Uh, it says using fresh strawberries with strawberry puree, this kettle sour is refreshing change from the norm. Kept at 40 degrees for four days to give it that sharp bite you want from a, the fantastic style. Loads going on in this summer fruit special. Who does not like a good strawberry? Now, the best before date on this actually is the 18th of November, which is a month and a week away. So how new these are, I'm not sure. Maybe that's part of it, I don't know. Um, it goes on to say that uh, Navigation Brewery are uh, at the Trent Navigation Inn, which they are. They've got a brewery down by the Trent Navigation Inn, which is on Meadow Lane, which is where uh, Knox County's football ground is. 
and is not all that far away from Notts Forest either. So if you're into football and you visit the city, go check out the Trent, Trent Navigation so you can check these guys' beer out as well because it is very, very good. Um, it's vegan friendly, 1.6 units in this can. And to be honest, that's about it. Um, so I do really like Navigation and they are taking a whole raft of things to... Um, Nottingham Beer Festival, they've got an Amped Up Mild that's a collab, and I think they're doing a collab with a cider company, a local cider company. Uh, they're doing collabs galore, and they're also taking what might be the strongest beer to have ever gone to Nottingham Beer Festival in what, I don't want to misquote, but I'm pretty sure it's a 22% Imperial Stout, which was brave, I think we can say. It's definitely brave. Um... I'll be honest, their beer is normally top form. That Key Lime Pale that I had a few weeks back and reviewed was absolutely insanely good. In fact, I went back and bought two more cans. Um, this one, though, look, if you're a big sour fan of pro and you know a fan of proper kettle sours, then it's probably a good beer. I say it's just not quite for me. But that is everything. Hopefully, see you at Nottingham Beer Festival. And yeah. That's it for now. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.